My next speaker was my co-host up here. Now she's going to give another speech on something else now that she's comfortable looking at everyone. Her evaluator tonight is going to be none other than Mr. Gay. Mr. Gay, that means that Mr. Gay. Oh, that Mr. Gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gay Jr. Mr. Gay Jr. Mr. Gay Jr. It's going to be her evaluator. So let, let me tell you something about Shona. I don't know much about her, but after reading her bio today, I know that she likes to stretch. Yes. She likes to stretch. I'm assuming that she likes to stretch. Perhaps she does exercise? Yes. Exercise. Daily exercise. No, I actually I just recently started again, okay. back to some stretching, some exercise, yes. Now, she's going to give us some benefits about stretching, am I correct? Yes. Okay, so I want everyone to listen, because I'm sure the few people in here don't stretch. Yeah. Now, I personally, I started exercising, and when I don't stretch, it hurts. Yes, and that is good. Show me George. Yeah, enjoy. So today, the reason I chose this topic, stretching, is because after a long time, I started to really exercise. And this is thanks to a little group we have in the place that I live in. And I have almost begun to forget my muscles. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to feel my body again. So I wanted to tell you, uh, this was very much a part of me a few years ago or from, the, from my childhood. I was very much a person who exercised daily and I believed that a sound mind a sound mind is in a sound body in that maxim. So how does it matter really? We all wake up and then we go to the gym or start our days during, during, doing different activities. It could be running or going to the gym or swimming. But do we go and do it with awareness, with intention? Or do we just do it because you say you become trim and slim or you know you build up an appetite and have a good meal and then go back to work again. What does it matter when you really stretch? Now stretching is as you can see just like a rubber band. When you pull that's when it gets stretched. So it's a deliberate flexing of muscles. It's a muscle not just of the body actually. When you stretch your body you stretch your mind also. So it's a um, Mind and body is very connected. So that's what I would like to bring out here. And I'm hoping to bring out, be able to bring out here. So as you see, we all, we've all seen cats stretch. They do it after a period of inactivity. They're just so relaxed. And they just get into that, you know, the state of ease by stretching. How do they do it? They just, uh, they only stretch actually. We see the person running there. How do they get into that form? Did that did it happen just over time? It just there's a lot that goes behind that form that you see over there of that room. And again, same with the people that you see over here lifting up weights. It just it just didn't happen over time. They all stretched. They stretched their limits. They stretched a bit. Uh, every day, a little more weight, probably to the 0.5 kilogram, it became a, a kilo. So <coughs> it's that stressing that I'm talking about, that we can all do. So with intention, we get up and wake up and do a little bit of the stretch. Physically, we can move a little bit further ahead every day. And this is just a little variation. But again, it's a kind of stretch where uh, we are aware of our posture. <coughs> We all sometimes sit by our desks with our rounded shoulders and we wonder how can we sit up straight, there's a pain here, there's an ache here. All it needs is a light stretch over there, a gentle remind, awareness uh, in ourselves that the shoulders need to be moved a little back, that, you know, just take a little break and move your hands a little further and just do this and come back and you are a much changed person at your desk place at your workplace. And then what happens to your mind when you're stretching? You know, you have met many practitioners of yoga or you see a sense of calm in them because it starts from you, the basic calmness that comes from this kind of stretch because when you move your body with awareness, 
and you're stretching that hand a little further and staying in that pose, feeling uncomfortable and slowly getting into that ease and comfortableness. There begins a calmness and peace inside you, which you can then work on in the outside as well. So this kind of stretching begins with your body, is my belief. Thank you. Thank you, Shah. Now that I'm stretching, it makes my body a little bit more at ease. I'm going to ask it to be evaluated to give an evaluation of Shona's speech. And I mistakenly called the evaluator Mr. Gay. Actually, it is Mr. Gay, but it's Mr. Gay's son. <laughs> equally as good, equally as enthusiastic. Let's give him a round of applause. Sun up. Sun up. Sun up. Hi, good evening everyone. Good evening. So I'm sure we all enjoyed Shona's speech. Yes. As much as I did. Uh, yes. So, oh no, this is fine. Uh, so, what I'd like to say is Shona started off telling us how she started off with this stretching. How she uh, started this journey. And some things I need, uh, I want to suggest is that although you talk about stretching and how it, the benefits, okay, maybe you can demonstrate some poses to us, uh, make it a little bit more interactive. Because right now, I think you're a, bit, a little bit stiff. I think we can agree that maybe she can give a little bit of actions or something of the sort that she has been practicing. Because she did start off with her experience, so maybe she can share a bit more of the, the physical aspect of it, so we can feel it ourselves, you know. Yes. So she, I think she start, we have five to seven minutes, but she only took maybe about four plus, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. So I think you can definitely incorporate some of this time into <coughs> the actions. As for the slides, I think it's brilliant. Lots of pictures, very, very informative. She showed an example of the cat, the person running, and she did have some poses on the screen, but of course, it's better to have a bit of audience interaction to nail in the point. Mm. Uh, all in all, I have to say that stretching is good. <laughs> we have another speaker, but before I invite another another speaker up here, I always like to do this. I like I always like to make people feel comfortable about speaking. Yeah. I believe that when we come to a speaking club, then everyone has to speak. <coughs> right. The only way to get over our fear is to speak. Juni, I think he did a good job <coughs> in talking about his uh, body language, his strategy and all that. The vocal variety was okay. Long enough for you? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, right. The thing I need you to evaluate is the PowerPoints. Number one, should this be why does it matter or how does it matter? <coughs> why? 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 So you change why? why does it matter? Why? Why does it matter, right? <coughs> What's wrong with this one? Any suggestion? We all want to learn together. <coughs> Muscles. For me, I tell you right now, this picture should be over here. This change place because she is looking inside. If you put the oh. over here, she is looking inside. Now she's looking outside, she's going down. So oh. replace this to look in that one. Yeah. Right? This is quite okay, improves flexibility and so on. Okay. This, this is quite okay. Ah. Should it be correct postures or correct postures? Correct postures. Correct postures very visual. Correct postures. Postures. Correct postures. No, correct postures. The S is in the no, wrong way. No, I think it's correct. <coughs> because the idea is that it corrects the posture. It corrects the posture. Number two, this one are smaller. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.
But Chong Jin said you should get us all stand up and do like that. Follow that picture. What about the picture? <coughs> Would the two girls be better beside and the man there? Yes, yes. of course. <coughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. This one? Same? Mm. Bring this girl over here. <coughs> mm. Yes. Yes. Good idea. So there are ways you can improve your presentation. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good.